Is this thing on? Whoa, okay, guys, listen. I know I've been going for a while, but I'm back from the future. And I gotta tell you, the killer robots are pain, but the real issue is that Bermuda is not getting any cheaper. It's still the most expensive place on earth. So in this video, I'll be giving you three tips for living cheap in Bermuda. Now come with me if you want to save some money. If you're watching this, there's a good chance that you either recently relocated to the island or you're considering an opportunity to move here for a significant period of time. So before you start investing in furniture, appliances and the other necessities of daily life, my first tip is to keep an eye out for leaving island sales. Because just as you might be on your way in, someone else is on their way out. And Bermuda's immigrant turnover rate is, is fairly consistent. So you can always count on there being somebody who built a life here finally deciding that it's time to leave and they're struggling to deal with a bunch of stuff they've accumulated over the years and one man's trash is another man's treasure mopeds furniture pots pans you name it sometimes you can find people selling these things for dirt cheap because they're short on time and they just need to get rid of it and some of the items are like in great condition sometimes brand new so here's a personal story Right, about seven, eight, maybe nine years ago, I can't really remember exactly, but I went to one of these leaving island sales, and it turns out that the guy selling had only been on the island for a couple months. He purchased an entire living room set, like couches, tables, TV, everything. And um, he was rushing back to Europe. He only had a few days to settle his affairs. So he was inviting people to look at everything in his house, and he would not turn down an offer as long as you could get it out the house that day. So I called a buddy, he brought his car down, and I walked out with a 50 inch plasma TV, less than two months old, for a hundred bucks. So that's my first piece of advice to you. Go look for these leaving island sales. Look on Emu, Facebook, uh, you can find some amazing deals, but Another tip is that the best place to find where these sales are going on is to ask around, check your coworkers, check your friends, you know, see if they know anybody that's leaving the island and that's looking to get rid of some stuff because that way you get first dibs. Useful. Ice cubes. What's all that? Oh yeah. These are for water bottles. Oh. Big fatties. Oh, that's a good idea. Out of there, man. I got dibs on that. Now, while you're on the island and you're going out on a ton, having dinner, drinks with friends that are one day going to give you first rights to their stuff when they decide to leave, here's a note for you. If you're looking to have a good night out on a budget, don't get caught up in the normal popular places, you know? Try to expand your horizons. For example, if you plan to have a night out in Hamilton, sure, you can go to Front Street, you know, Hamilton Princess, the typical places, but why not consider Northeast Hamilton? That's the area on and around Court Street. I know it doesn't have the best reputation, but let's be honest. If you're from the US or England, then you live near a neighborhood that's far worse than Court Street could ever be. And on the flip side, it's an area that's filled with local shops, bars, restaurants, where prices are often 50 to 75% less what they would be on Front Street five minutes away, you know? And I'm not trying to disparage places like Port of Call, 1609, places like that if you're trying to go to a nice sit down restaurant. I love those places too. But if your goal is to have a good night out on a budget, please know that you can visit a back of town bar like Places Place and get a beer for $5 versus $20 on Front Street. Your math is blowing my mind. No, for my third and final tip for saving money in Bermuda, we need to talk about grocery stores and food prices. But first, we need to have a quick chat. Uh, anyone that's been following this channel for a while probably noticed that I've been mostly MIA this summer. I haven't uploaded any real videos in a few months. There's a few reasons for this. Number one, at my main job, we've started to return to the office, things are getting back to normal, and <laughs> I can't work on these videos between meetings anymore. So, you know, I've lost that. Number two, I've accepted some extra consultant hours as a side gig. Fact is, I'm not in a position to turn on extra money right now. 
And while I enjoy working on videos for the channel and trying to grow it and everything, I don't make any money from these videos. So I gotta put my effort where the money is. And number three, I've been working on a project. And that's what I wanna to talk to you about right now. See, I started writing the outline for this video several weeks ago. And one item that I wanted to discuss was the grocery price sheets over at Island Price Hikes Facebook group. I knew they had been working on a project that where they're trying to log the price of every grocery item on the island so people can look at it and easily compare prices between different stores, you know, and use that data to make better decisions. For example, let's say you want to buy a few gallons of milk, but you're tight on cash. You want the lowest possible price. You reference their price sheet and find the store with the lowest price, then use that to save a few dollars. You know, I thought it was a great idea. And I wanted to share that information with my viewers, with you guys. However, once I checked on the project, I found it was in complete disarray. They were manually inputting data into these giant spreadsheets that were unorganized and difficult to search through. They just didn't have the technical expertise or the resources to take an idea like that and convert it to a user-friendly application that people might actually use. So I volunteered to help. So my third and final tip for saving money while living in Bermuda is to visit deals.isleofdevils.com where you can research and compare prices on various products sold at multiple stores across the island. Instead of waiting for a store to give you a deal, why not make your own? We'll also be scouring the island and reporting on sales and secretly marked down items that you may not be aware of. We want this to be a tool to help people make better purchasing decisions because life in Bermuda is expensive already and it gets even worse when you don't have easy access to data like this that can help you save valuable dollars by choosing the cheapest options. So keep an eye on the site. It's still early and we have many features that we want to implement and stores we need to add to our tracking system. We're also tracking price change so we can report on trends, create some visual statistics, and hopefully become a valuable tool for the voices in Bermuda seeking to answer the question, why is Bermuda so expensive? We all watched prices during COVID spike, like food prices would go up almost weekly, right? I mean, but how much did they increase? What was the price on these items before COVID? We're so used to high prices in Bermuda that we don't even question these things anymore. Like, was the increase honestly necessary? We don't have a clue. And until we can point to the data and hold these grocery stores accountable, we never will. So I just hope this is something that somebody out there finds useful. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. And thanks everyone that supports this channel and sends kind words, even when they disappear for months at a time. <laughs> and especially you people that recognize me on the street and make me feel like a genuine YouTube star. Like I appreciate all of them. I will honestly try to be more consistent, but truth is I just don't have the free time I did during the lockdown. But hey, the Delta variant spreading across the planet so who knows, maybe another lockdown and more consistent video uploads will be coming soon. For now, see you in the next video.